Greetings YouTubers! Recently I uploaded a video response to Rational Warriors. If you can't answer the question, then the conversation's over. In this video, he described a litmus test for debating with theists. He wants you to define the word theory as it relates to scientific discussions. If you are not operating with basic knowledge of scientific concepts, then there is no reason to continue the discussion. After I recorded this video response, I realized that I left out a crucial element of my litmus test. That being, you are required to tell me the number of times you have completely read the Bible cover to cover. If you have never done so, the conversation is over because it's pointless to debate biblical concepts with people who haven't read the book that they claim is so important to their spiritual lives. But I forgot one important element to this. This is the concept of donkey proctology. I came up with this term after the Herald Camping debacle, or shall I say after the rapture never happened like he prophesied that it would. Basically he engaged in donkey proctology. Proof that he was just pulling this out of his ass. Let me explain how donkey proctology works. A few days ago here at the University of Arkansas Fort Smith I had the privilege of overhearing a couple of freshmen talking quite loudly about watching a horror movie and whether or not they got scared. The title of the movie is frankly irrelevant. This freshman chick, uh, I guess that would be a freshwoman, com commented that there's a difference between ghosts and demons. Ghosts don't exist, but demons do. Hmm. And atheists are more likely to be possessed by demons because they don't believe in Todd. Uh, yeah. Here's how it works, folks. This statement is not my own, but I'm merely copying so many other non-theist YouTubers who have gone before me. Positive claims require positive evidence. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Making a statement relating to religious faith, for example, is perfectly fine. But if you expect to convince other people around you, or to have your claims stand within the realm of public criticism and close scrutiny, then you must back up these claims with evidence. The act of making outlandish, extraordinary claims without the benefit of any evidence to support your claims is the very definition of donkey proctology. You are just pulling it out of your ass. So please don't. I am, of course, a major proponent of religious freedom. And yes, this includes freedom from religion. You can't honestly have one without the other. You can make any positive, extraordinary, or outlandish claims that you want, but guess what? Those claims are protected by the First Amendment. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to agree with you, nor does it mean that you can make such claims without subjecting yourself to ridicule when you make ridiculous claims. So please, for the love of Todd, the next time you decide to engage in donkey proctology, walk away from me so I don't have to wallow in the stench.